welcome back to cad cam tutorial we will make a case study for chair base and we will find out maximum stress or we will find out factor of safety for this chair and we will apply a 1500 newton force to this chair and let's see what will happen in this case study now let's create a chair frame so go to sketch activate 3d sketch line and start from origin and uh, move along direction of this y uh, red color arrow i'm moving opposite direction then here i want to change direction downward fine again here change move along now in this case i'm going to change so press tab key and change the direction you will see move along arrow direction so you will get perfect geometry okay click somewhere then again here i want to change direction so press tab key now again i am moving opposite the arrow now this time i want to move upside so press tab key okay now this is going to be direction okay now here uh, we have to uh, make many things now first hold shift key select these two points along z these two points same z and uh, these two points along z axis now select this one along z axis this one uh, is going to be along x axis Five hundred, okay. Five hundred, that's fine. Okay. Okay, this by default it's five hundred. Okay, let's this vertical length five hundred. Now this is fully defined sketch. sketch fillet now here 125 mm let me activate the corner now select all the corners say yes cancel exit now activate swift boss base feature now here profile choose circular profile now here sketch path is selected you will see i'll just zoom in diameter 30 but we want a hollow so go to thin feature 3 mm thickness thickness should be inside so that it will be look like a sturdy okay now go to add ins and activate from here or drop down the menu of option add ins simulation okay now see it comes here right click let me hide this analysis now first click study new study now here many types of study you will see like uh, thermal buckling fatigue but we want to this is a kind of example for static so choose here static okay now the next is apply material you will see at uh, left top apply material now here i am going to apply isi 1020 see mks unit and here you will see uh yield strength this is going to be kg asi si unit 351 this is just remember this one apply close now the next option we will apply fixture drop down this one and even you can directly choose or simply click fixture now here you will see add fixture create int interaction back 
So, I will choose add fixture. Now, here fixed geometry. Now, here this is the example. Now, standard fixed geometry and make sure you selected fixed geometry. Now, I am going to choose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are resting on floor. So, this is going to be fixed. Say OK. Perfect. The next thing, apply load. So, just drop down this or even right click on the external load and here choose force. That's important. Now, in this is the upper part of chair. So, in these two pipes, load going to apply, but you have to define direction. Now, this is, uh, there is no any particular direction. We want to move according to gravity. It should be go down. Unit, I'll keep SI. Select direction. For direction, I'm going to choose which plane is suitable. Top plane, that's fine. But in top plane also, you need to define direction, force direction. See, X, Y, Z. So if I choose Z, it's moving upside. Click reverse direction and apply 1500 Newton pressure. Say OK. That's fine. Now the next is mesh. Even you can right click create mesh or from here also you can drop down the menu of study create mesh. If you move finer your geometry will be uh, create more number of mesh and it will be give you better result but it will take time to create or uh, achieve the target achieve, achieve the geometry so I'll keep near fine okay now it will calculate once calculate you will see look there are multiple number of elements and node these joints are node and these triangular shape are element if you right click on mesh details you will see here Total nodes 29,000, total element 14, near 15,000. Okay. If you keep more number of this, it will give you accurate result, but it will take more time to calculate. Okay. Now, even though you can simply choose run this study, or even in simulation, there is one option run. Now, it is going to calculate. Now, that's it. Now, these are the by default result we, we get. See, stress. Double click on stress and see. Right click, chart option. Here click show minimum annotation, maximum annotation. Okay. So, here you will see the maximum load stress 3 point let me back this okay now this is the chart newton per square meter now you will see yield strength 3.51 this is uh, while we decide the material you will see this one so this is the our maximum 3.4 maximum stress or maximum load and what load we applied we applied 1500 newton meter square even though you, you can right click animate and see how the load works if you change this one the speed will increase if you reduce, speed will reduce. Even though you can save this file also. Okay. Displacement. Double click. Right click. Chart option. Maximum, minimum displacement. Okay. Now see the maximum here. Minimum displacement here. But maximum displacement here. And it is in millimeter. You will see here. Res. 3.47. This is maximum animate right click and animate and you will see the displacement the red color means it's near to damage or near to fatty okay now after all we want to find out either this is structure safe or not so we need to find out factor of safety 
right click on result define factor of safety plot okay now here select all automatic say okay now look here minimum factor of safety chart option minimum maximum okay now look the minimum factor of safety 1.01 .01. factor of safety always bigger than 1 always so this is near 1 so it may be damage or maybe destroy or maybe collapse so let's increase the thickness go to model edit feature let's here increase thickness let's say 4 millimeter apply go to static study apply run this study now it will first calculate mesh then it will run now double click on factor of safety now here you will see factor of safety become 1.2 so this is more safer than the previous 3 millimeter thickness so this is how we find out factor of safety i hope you like it don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching